Earnhardt was number one. April 29th, 1951, Ralph Dale Earnhardt was born to Ralph Earnhardt and Martha Earnhardt. Ralph was a professional stock car. something wrong with Yardrow's car. Is that right? Well, it's not illegal. We'll roll And this would make you the winner if this protest is allowed, huh? Well, I guess it do. We all knew about it. Is that right? Yeah, we was all told before the race. Well, uh, how do you feel about winning one this way, Ralph? Well, I'd rather I'd run him, but uh, we weren't allowed the wheels, and as he's running the wheels, he's illegal, I guess. Well, a possible winner is Ralph Earnhardt. Now, back to you. Bill. Ralph won the 1956 NASCAR Sportsman Division Championship, his only. And in 1994, he was inducted to the Motorsports Hall of Fame. But from a very young age, Dale wanted to race. So in the eighth grade, he dropped out. And, I'm pr and his dad was not happy. He was pissed with Dale. Dale's first car was actually pink. Yes, far cry from his black car. And Dale actually raced against his dad in a race in about the late 60s, early 70s. But on September 26, 1973, Ralph Earnhardt passed away at the age of 45. This would be a hard death for the Earnhardt family. Racer all the time, but uh, he was even a greater father. Uh, we really learn a lot uh, from his hand, and uh, I learned a lot on the back end from his hand a few times. But uh, he was a great dad, and he brought us a long way, and, and that's why we've excelled so far in life. And uh, accepting the medallion from my dad is uh, our mom, Martha. I know it's been a long night tonight for everyone, but I'd like to take time to bring my children up, the rest of my children up, and introduce them to everyone. All right. This is Kay and Kathy and Dale and Randy and Danny. <laughs> and my children and I would like to thank the International Motorsports Hall of Fame for inducting Ralph into the company of such noted racing personalities. And I'd like to congratulate all the others who have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. When Ralph first approached me about driving a race car, I thought he had gone crazy. Our oldest daughter, Kay, was about five months old, and uh, Ralph promised me that if he couldn't make a living with, or do it without taking away from the family, that he would not pursue it any further. But from the time he started, uh, he kept me and five children up without me ever having to work outside of the family. And every racing family knows that the entire family has to be a part of the effort and be willing to make sacrifices for the success of the driver. At the time Ralph won his national championship in 56, the wife and family were not included in the banquet that they held for the championship. The induction ceremony tonight gives our family the opportunity to share in the honor given to Ralph. While, Ralph has, while Dale has made his name in racing from inheriting the ability to drive a race car and from watching Ralph drive, all of the children were part of Ralph's career. Because racing was so important to Ralph, it was important to the rest of us. Our children all did what they could to help, and we all shared the feelings you get whenever you win or lose. Because we were a racing family, I feel it made us a closer family. 
I'll always be grateful to this sport for what it has provided us with, and that's what makes this award so meaningful. I'm sure if Ralph were here with us tonight, he would be as proud as we are of this honor. As forward to when Dale was 18, he married his first wife, Latane Brown, and they had one son together, Carrie. But they divorced a year later, and Carrie's new stepfather, he'll actually take his stepfather's name, um, Jack Key, and will be Carrie Key. Then Dale and Hart married Brenda Latane G, and then they would have two kids together, Kelly and Dale and Hart Jr. But in 1975, Earnhardt would receive his big break.